In this video, we're going to tour the Final Cut Pro 10 default interface. And I want to be very clear that this is the default interface. And there are many other areas and places within Final Cut that you're going to see as you grow with Final Cut. But we're going to specifically talk about the default one. So if you've been using Final Cut at all, we want to return you to the default interface. And you can use the shortcut Command-0 to do that. Or you can go up to the Window menu, go down to Workspaces, and click on Default. Again, here on the right, you can see Command-0 is the shortcut to do that. So I'm actually going to do that here. And you'll see nothing really changed because it was already in that default interface. But this is what you're going to see. You can go through and resize the window and resize different areas of Final Cut for Example, I could drag this down, resize it. I'm actually going to keep it at the max. Uh, in between the different areas, you can resize these spaces that you're seeing here, or like the inspector, all these different things. You can resize it. If you've done that, just use Command-0 to return here to the default interface. That's something I do extremely frequently, because I will like to rearrange the interface, depending on what I'm doing with Final Cut. But when you're getting started, the default is great. And this default interface is broken up into four areas. We have an area here on the left, which if you click anywhere in the area, it'll actually put a thin blue line at the top to let you know which area you're in. And this area is called the browser. We actually have a, a library sidebar here and then the primary browsing area. But this whole area at the top left is the browser. This right now black area is the viewer where we're going to actually visually see all the content that we play back. To the right of the viewer is the inspector, which right now there is nothing to inspect. And then at the bottom we have the timeline where the actual project is going to be displayed. In addition to those four areas, we do have a toolbar going across the middle with little icons and, and tools on them. We also have a toolbar at the top here that has a few buttons on it. And you may see even an extensions button as you add third-party apps to your Mac. On the right side of this toolbar, you can actually use these buttons that are blue right now to rearrange or hide some of the areas of the interface. And again, all of these things we're going to dive into a little bit deeper. But that's an overview of the default Final Cut Pro workspace and what we're seeing here. Uh, I do want to have a little side chat here. If you have more than one monitor or display connected to your Mac, you'll also see this little icon that allows you to show one of the areas of Final Cut on that second monitor. In this course, we're going to be using one screen, but if you do have multiple monitors, take advantage of them. Don't hesitate to go up here and show some of the areas on that second monitor. Um, that's the whole point of having multiple displays. You can take advantage of your real estate and those dual monitors.